Lord, Lord, the loved Lord is ever merciful to me. Lord, thou art the master, cherisher of all, myself with my wife and family, all are thy slaves. All my honor and might thou art, O Lord. Thy name alone is my shelter. If thou seatest me on the throne, then I am a slave of thine. If thou makest me cut grass, then what can I say? Servant Nanak's master is the almighty creator. My Lord is beyond limit and my ear. Sarang fifth guru, the tongue uttering the Lord's praise looks beautiful. That Lord creates and destroys in a moment. Seeing his wondrous plays, my mind is charmed. Hearing whose praise, man's mind is in supreme bliss and he is rid of ego and suffering of his heart. Since I am in accord with thee, O Lord, I attained peace and cast off suffering. My sins are gone and my mind has become pure. The Guru has pulled me out of the Maya delusion. Nanak says, I have obtained the Lord who is almighty to do all deeds. Sarang fifth Guru with my eyes I have seen the Lord's wondrous shows and plays. Far from all and yet near all is the Lord, inaccessible yet abides in all hearts. The infallible Lord never forgets. He does not write his order nor he consults with any fifty or so. God, the lover of his devotees and the treasure of virtues, creates, embellishes and destroys in an instant. By lightening the lamp in the mind's blind well, the Guru has illumined it. Nanak says, by seeing the Lord's vision, I have achieved peace and all desires are fulfilled. Sarang fifth Guru, for the feet, the most beautiful path to tread upon is of Lord. The more one walks on another path, the more pain and repentance he has. By seeing the Lord's sight, the eyes become pure and by serving Him, hands are purified. The heart is purified when the Lord abides therein and the forehead is purified when the dust of the feet of the holy fall on it. All the treasures are in the Lord God's name, but He alone is blessed with it in whose destiny it is so writ. Slave Nanak has met with his perfect Guru and his life now passes in peace, poise and prayer. Saram 5th Guru, O man, contemplate the Lord's name, which shall be your helper at the last moment. Where your mother, father, son and brother cannot reach, there the Lord's name shall save you. He alone meditates on the Lord in the blind well of his mind home, on whose forehead good fortune is writ. His bonds are opened, the Guru emancipates him and sees, he sees you and you only all over. By quaffing the name nectar, the mind is stiated, and by tasting it, the tongue is sated. Nanak says, I have obtained joy in serenity, and the Guru has quenched all my thirst. Sarang fifth Guru, by meeting the Guru, I have so meditated the Lord that he, the shatterer of suffering, has become compassionate and merciful, and now even the hot wind cannot touch me. As many as breaths I breathe, so many praises of the Lord I sing. He does not separate from me even for an instant, and I do not forget him for a moment. Wherever I go, he is ever with me. A sacrifice, a sacrifice, a sacrifice I am unto the Lord's lotus feet, and I am devoted, devoted unto the sight of my Guru. Nanak says, I care not for anything else. I have now obtained the Lord, the ocean of peace. Saran fifth Guru. To my mind, the Guru's word is sweet. Good fortune has dawned on me and illumination has come and I see my Lord God in every heart. Unborn and self-illumined is my Supreme Lord and He is seated within every place and heart. I have attained the nectar name and I am a sacrifice, a sacrifice unto the Lord's feet. When the dust of the feet of the holy congregation anoints my face, I am deemed to have bathed at all the places of pilgrimage. Nanak says, I am dyed in the deep red color of the Lord's and this madder-like color of the God's love does not fade. Saran fifth Guru, the Guru has given me the Lord Master's name as my companion. 
by enshrining the Lord's word within my mind, even for an instant, my hunger is all gone. O God, Thou art the treer of grace, master of merits, storehouse of joy, and the overlord of all. My hope rests only on Thee, my master. Vain it is to repose hope on any other. When the Guru placed his hand on my forehead, then my eyes were sated by seeing the Lord's sight. Nanak says, I have now attained immeasurable joy, and my fear of birth and death is cast off. Sarang fifth Guru, O fool, why do you go anywhere else? With you lies the entrancing elixir of the Lord, and getting deluded you eat poison. O man, to the Lord, beautiful, all-wise, unique, and creator, you have not formed even an iota of love. The madman's mind is involved with maya, the enticer, and he has taken the intoxicating drug of falsehood. God, the shatterer of suffering, has become merciful and compassionate, so the saints are in accord with me. Nanak says, I have obtained all the treasures in my very home, and my light has merged in the supreme light. Sarang fifth Guru, since the very beginning, my heart is in love with the God, my beloved. When thou, my true Guru, gave me thy instruction, since then I am decked and embellished. I am in error, and thou art ever infallible. I am a low quality tree, and thou art the sandalwood plant, growing on Malagiri mountain. Pray, preserve, my honor of my abiding alongside with thee. Thou art the profound, calm, and beneficent Lord. What are we helpless beings before thee? The Guru, in his grace, has united Nanak with the Lord. Since then is my couch made joyful, says Nanak. Sarang fifth Guru, myself blessed and approved is the day, fruitful the hour, and auspicious the moment, when associating with the true Guru, I receive the divine enlightenment. Blessed is my good fortune and blessed my spouse. Blessed are they whom the Lord blesses with glory. This body is thine. My home and wealth all belong to thee and I sacrifice my heart unto thee, my Lord. On seeing thine sight, even for a moment, I obtain millions and lakhs of empires and players, O Lord. When with 